Uh, welcome to a new news flash, the news flash from the 7th of August uh, 2022. And uh, yeah, I have interesting topics again. The Google Pixel 6a has been released and is a disappointment. For once, okay, Google releasing a smaller handset that looks and feels more like a Pixel 6 is very, very interesting. But on the other hand, I think they screwed it up. First of all, the performance is not as good, even if they use the same kind of tensor chip they are just somehow restricting restricting the performance on it and then we have 60 hertz only on the display which is also a bummer i said it already on the xperia 10 mark 4 i'm not so happy about 60 hertz on these price regions that we are talking about right now and i think the pixel 6a screwed up there really so is it interesting will i get one no Definitely not. I don't see it. I I am still disappointed by the Google Pixel 6 and I did some testing with the Google Pixel 6 even after all the updates. I'm still disappointed by this overblown super punchy colors and uh, super fake HDR. So I really don't like it. This is for video and for photos. I really don't like it still. And uh, yeah, so why was I testing the Google Pixel 6? Because I was testing it together with the where do I have it with this year the Zenfone 9 that arrived here in my studio and I'm testing it out and there will be lots and lots of video coming out about the Zenfone 9 here definitely for sure so you will also see Google Pixel 6 versus Zenfone 9 video there are some issues with the Zenfone 9 for sure but it is so far I think a very interesting device still for many people to try out and I will do some more tests, especially also when you see here on my desktop, eventually there, this icon in the middle, this is like the Google camera icon. So I'm also testing out Gcam with this. I will try out to improve the quality of this device and see what it is really capable because it's a very interesting device. I have other devices as well for testing that I cannot talk about right now, but I'm doing some videos as well. This is why the Matebook e-video and Linux installation and uh, an image for this is delayed a little bit by other topics. I told you about the Xiaomi 12s Ultra coming here as well in the studio. I expect it either next week or the, the week after to arrive here so I can do also perform some tests. Otherwise, you will be uh, seeing lots and lots of tests of this one here. But I have still the Xperia 10 Mark IV. Um, not here in the studio, but I have a video that I did with it and my, what is it, iPhone XS that uh, will also come out pretty soon. That is a camera comparison to see how a four, is it four years old flagship, the iPhone XS can compete or how a mid-ranger can compete against a four year old flagship. Might be very interesting for some people to see as well. And otherwise that's basically it. Do we have any other topics here? I'm just scrolling around to see if I forgot something, but I don't see anything that I really forgot. Uh, I think what people are interested in again are probably some Xperia videos. So here the Xperia 1 Mark IV. I'm recording by the way with Xperia Pro I because it's nighttime and one inch size sensor is doing better. The Xperia 1 Mark IV uh, got an update. I'm still testing the update on the 1 Mark IV to see how good the overheating protection now is. I heard that there's another update coming that will fix even more of this as well. So maybe this might be still the phone of the year eventually if they really fix those overheating issues or get it to a point where i can constantly yeah, record 4k 30 15 minutes at least then i would be totally happy with this one here and uh, yeah we have to see how this will develop but i keep my eye on the one mark four for sure and i'm hoping to see eventually some rumors coming up for a potential five mark four though i'm also a bit skeptical i don't think it will come in september maybe october Octoberish, some kind, some some sometimes like this. Mm, we have to see. We have to see. Otherwise, if there's no 5 Mark IV coming out, this might be the Zenfone 9 might be the best alternative for this, as you saw already in my videos. That's basically everything already. A short news flash only because I don't have any other news here. Is there something interesting going on in Linux on laptops more and more? I think it's not 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 a real news here. 
Uh, do we have anything else? I don't think there's anything worth mentioning. Usually I have a list of stuff that I want to mention in uh, my uh, videos, but there's nothing right now. I can check my, my notes to see if there's, by the way, I'm doing notes in, might be also interesting to know, in uh, Nextcloud. I have my own Nextcloud box, a small little server in another room uh, sitting there, and it's connected to a very fast internet, so I can do this here. Uh, from my home and then I have uh, a notes application there where I can write notes uh, with uh, Markdown and I can read my, my notes here. <sighs> really nothing new, really, really nothing new. The last news that I wrote down was the Windows 3.1 Flash Edition, but I think I talked about this already in one of the previous news flashes, so nothing really interesting happening in this week. Uh, what do you think about the Zenfone 9? You can write it down. What do you want to see? Um, which device should I compare this with? I have two devices compared it with already. One device comparison will come out. So the Google Pixel 6 against the Zenfone 9, definitely for sure. You can check this video out uh, next week as well as, uh, yeah, there will be also a review, camera review in nighttime come out. We have nighttime right now. I checked it out a little bit. Spoiler alert, I was not so impressed by the gimbal here. I was expecting a little bit more of this gimbal in nighttime. Sadly, it was not delivering. I hope Asus will send out some fixes here, especially in terms of camera tweaking and tuning and JPEG compression and eventually the sharpness and over sharpened and over punchy colors and at least give us like an option to get more natural colors and more natural sharpness instead of like this uh, artificial sharpening and punching of colors. Uh, Google, talking about the Google Pixel 6, I was wondering where it was hiding here, this Google Pixel 6. And uh, yeah, still don't like this device so much. Um, I think the software, you get accustomed to it if more and more Android 12 uh, user interface devices uh, turn up. Though I have like the feeling that, um, yeah, even in terms of performance, if you compare them, of course, 90 hertz, 120 hertz, but even in terms of performance, the Tensor chip has no chance at all. The only thing, even like, not only this, the, the, even the thing that the Google Pixel claims to be very good at processing images and taking images, photos, yes, it was quick back in the time when this device came out, but this year, now with the Snapdragon processor, without any extra artificial uh, intelligent chip or NPU or something like this, Helping here, just the Snapdragon process is also is also so quick in uh, doing those shots. Yeah, I still have the double tap to launch the and to stop launching the flashlight. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, what do you think about this? Uh, that's everything for this short little news flash. Until the next time, bye.